Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League Predictions. Um, for the first time ever, in my opinion, VAR was working. Um, I know some of you are going to disagree with that and that's absolutely fine. But if you follow me on social media, you will see me post it on my Facebook and Twitter, and the links for that are down in the description below. Um, I've heard about VAR working for the very first time ever since it's been in the Premier League. Um, and what I meant by that um, is referees start to reverse their decisions from the on-field to the VAR assistant um, in London, wherever they're based. Um, but I still think there could be room for improvement. I saw a tweet uh, yesterday. Um, it's in Italy with this certain game. And, you know, the referee gave a penalty. It struck a power on his, on his arm. Arm was down by the side. Nothing really he could do. Um, the on-field referee went to, went to the monitor on, on the pitch side and he reversed his decision and no penalty was given. You know, that is perfect news of the VAR. My, I won't say it's my complaint, but my opinion is, and this is why I try, obviously I can't force you to watch any football you don't want to, but if you watch the MLS or... I know a lot of you call that joke of a league, um, or you know, Syria or Bundesliga. They're about two to three years ahead of the Premier League. Now, I sort of done a rough calculation. Um, the MLS is nine thousand days in front of the Premier League, um, probably well over that with the use of VAR. Unfortunately, we're not going to get used to it that quickly, but this is why I do try to say to you about watching football abroad. Because if you watch it in the Premier League, yeah, you're going to obviously get used to it over time, but it will take you a lot longer to see the final um, product of what it can do. I still like it. As I said, for the first time this week, I think it worked. But guys, anyway, you know what I'm trying to do, try to get to a thousand subs coming the end of the season. The best way you could help me do that is by sharing my videos and letting people know about this channel. So, you know, let's see if we can do that together and there'll be a special video come when that goal is reached. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game we're going to kick off with is Bournemouth versus Manchester United. Bournemouth 0-0 away to Watford. Disappointed day for Bournemouth, um, if I'm all honest. Um, Man United beating Norwich 3-1 away from home. That was a big game for the United. Um, Tim Krul saved two penalties for Norwich. But United still managed to come away with the three points. Um... And yet again, VAR did pass part in that game. Um, a lot of penalties that probably should have been given, but weren't. Um, well, I'm on the verge of VAR again. Um, I know... I mean, with VAR, you got... Uh, it's not a Johnny number five. You know what I'm on about. It's a movie short circuit. you got a talking robot. But, um, you know... VAR can't talk to the ref. The VAR, um, for them, my uh, explanation, best way I can explain it, is a bit like your TV. It just sits there and watch the game, and you still have got to have the human factor in the VAR. If the VAR weren't in the game, you know, we'd still be looking at offside goals to be given, um, you know, diving penalties to be given. So, you know, you really have got to look at the human factor with the VAR. And, you know, I don't blame I don't blame nothing on the VAR itself. 
it's just a bit of technology, a bit like your mobile phones, a bit like your PS4s, a bit like your PCs, you know, stuff like that. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Bournemouth win. My next one is Arsenal versus Wolverhampton. Arsenal draw with 2-2 at home with Crystal Palace. Wolverhampton 2, uh, sorry, 1-1 one, one at home, away from home to Newcastle United. Um, big talking point in that Arsenal game. Um, you know, Jacka uh, coming off, walking off at walking pace, um, throwing his captain's armband, telling the fans, um, you know what, uh, but I think he handled that in such a wrong way. I don't, I know where Jack is coming from. It's your own fans booing you off. Um, I know apparently it weren't him coming off. It's the player they're bringing on. Um, but I'm more with the fans for this because of, you know, the fans play the players. The players' wages come the end of the day. Um, you know, so as I said, I'm more with the fans, the way they handled it, then the way Jacker did it. Um so you know But will we see him in the captain's arm man again this weekend? We're gonna have to wait and see. Uh Wolverhampton, good point. Um for Wolves, considering we're at 1 0 down, um, Newcastle, I just thought a little bit stronger on the day, but um, but as far as this one goes, I'll go for a 3 0 Arsenal win. My next one is Aston Villa versus Liverpool. Aston Villa loses 3 0 away from home to Manchester City. Liverpool beating Tottenham. Uh, 2 1 at home. Great three points for uh, Liverpool. Um, disappointing day for Villa. Uh, you know, Liverpool going 1 0 down in that game as well. Um, you know, let's be honest. Uh, six point gap come um, between Liverpool and Manchester City. Um, disappointing day for Villa. But losing 3 0 to City away can't be too bad. But as far as this one goes, I'll go for a 3 1 Liverpool win. My next one is Brighton Hove Albion versus Norwich. Brighton and Hove Albion beating Everton 3 2 at home. Norwich losing 3 1 away to Ma uh, sorry, losing 3 1 at home to Manchester United. Um, now, big VAR talking point again in this Brighton game. Um, now, this is this is a bit of a con controversial one. Um, Alan Connolly being stepped on in the box with uh, Michael King. Michael King, sorry. Um, you know, I can see why it was given, even though how light and he was looking at the ball, the way I see this game going forward, um, and I always have seen it, if I'm completely honest with you, is if it's going to be a foul outside the box, it's got to be a foul inside the box, that's why I've always seen it, um, you know, as I said, it's controversial, um, about that penalty, I believe it was um, because of that contact. I know he had his eyes on the ball. Um, I've seen it probably about 20, 30 times. Um, but you got to, I mean, Aaron did have his uh, hand on uh, Kane. Um, his chest anyway um, and for him that didn't see him what does he think was touching him 
that's what I've got question as well, and this is what I think going forward, this is what we've got question. Um no as I said, Norwich losing three one at home to um Man United. Last time this fixture happened it was a five 0 victory to Brighton. Um way back in Brighton's promotion season, I believe. Um but as far as this one goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Brighton win. My next one is Manchester City versus Southampton. Manchester City beating Villa 3-0 at home. You ready for this? Southampton losing 9-0 to Leicester City at home. Leicester have broken so many records with that result alone. But I'm going to talk more about that result um, on the Leicester point of view when I get down to their fixture. Um, but great three points for City. Great to keep the pressure on Liverpool at the top. Um, but as far as this result goes, and considering it finished three 0 in the cup, three uh, one in the cup, I'm going to go for. No, I'm going to go for a 4 0 Manchester City win. I'm expected to play a couple of more key players in that team. My next one is Sheffield United versus Burnley. Sheffield United drawing 1 1 away from home to West Ham. Burnley losing 4 2 at home. To Chelsea. Um, yet again, VAR played its part in that game. And I will speak more about that on the Chelsea perspective in just a minute. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 1 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is West Ham versus Newcastle. Um, West Ham 1 1. At home to Sheffield United. Newcastle 1 1 at home to Wolverhampton and Wonders. I think Newcastle a bit lucky and had a player sent off in that game. Um, West Ham on the other foot probably just deserved that point. Um, Sheffield United have really shown what they're made of for a season. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 0 West Ham win. My next one is Watford versus Chelsea. Um, Chelsea beating Burnley 4-2 away from home. Watford 0-0 at home with Bournemouth. Now, let's talk about that Chelsea. Um, well, it wasn't a penalty. It was given at first, but then they reversed it. And this is why I like VAR in the game. I know you're going to give me stick for this. But we, as fans, um, the only way I look at VAR, and this is why I'd rather have it in the game than not, if VAR was not in the game, that penalty would have been a penalty to Chelsea. But because of VAR, it got reversed. So that's a big upside. Will it happen for your club? We're going to have to wait and see. Um, but this is one of the points I like about VAR and it being in the game. Let alone with VAR, it's been used in MLS since 2016. So it's coming up to four years now. Bundesliga 2017 and 18 season. That's with Serie A as well. It's been used in Australia since 2017. It, you know, we're the very last league to try it out, and this is why we're so far behind um, while using this technology. Um, but, you know, you really... When I see VAR um, being used, I'm not like, right, okay, I agree with... I agree with you lot with the amount of time it's taken. That will come down over time. Um, and I do also agree with you about how many times they're looking at a, a certain camera angle with a certain foul or red card or whatever. 
unless they're changing that camera angle, I think they should only look at it maybe once or twice and make it a... Because what I've been seeing of it, especially over this week, is the fact that, um, you know, they're looking at it too many times, expecting something to change. But unless they're going to start changing the camera angles, I think they should look at it once or twice and make an opinion on it. Um, but as I said, that time will come down over time. Um, it's just going to take, obviously, a matter of our time, a matter of usage, and how long will it be before the first monitor is used on the side of the pitch. But as I said, we're so far behind. Um, as I just stated, it's been in MLS, it's been in a League of Australia, it's been in Syria, it's been in Bundesliga before it's even touched the Premier League stadium. Um, I knew we were using it in the FA Cup last year, and as far as I know, it'd be the same this year. But unless we're going to make our use uh, the start monitors, because as far as I'm concerned, the way that we should use it. Is if they're looking at VAR, the ref should go straight over to the monitor without being called over and have a look at them with them and then talk like that. I also do believe that us fans need to know what's going on. Um, I know we get shown at the side of the screen about you know what's being checked, but unless we're gonna actually know what they're talking about we're going to be left in the dark but I absolutely agree with you we need to know what's going on as well um, as fans but as far as this result goes I'll go for a 2-0 Chelsea win my next one is Crystal Palace versus Leicester City Leicester beating um, Southampton at home 9-0 Crystal Palace 2-2 two, two. Um, away to Arsenal. Now, let's go back and talk about that Leicester result. They scored more than the All Blacks. Um, they scored more than the All Blacks than they did on Saturday against England. England are in the World Cup um, rugby final. Um, and it's on this Saturday. Um, I'll be watching it before heading to a game. I hope you are as well. I hope you are back in England. Um, or obviously if you're South Africa, obviously South Africa. But, um, now, yet again, I've got to go back to this Desta result. And I've got to talk about that Southampton red card. Um, now... Yet again, the VAR was not in the game. That red card would not have happened. I think the referee didn't pick it up. I don't think the linesman picked it up. I think that because Leicester went on the attack so quick, no one picked it up until the VAR monitor did. Um, but this is what I'm saying. It's literally watching the game. Um, but this is what I'm saying. I'd rather have it in the game than out. It's just going to take a bit of time for us to get used to it. Um, but as I said, if you want to see what it's going to look like or should eventually look like, then please feel free to go and watch. I wouldn't even say the MLS. I'd probably say Bundesliga and Serie A as well because they've had it for two years now. So, you know, you have seriously... I mean, you look at the Champions League. Um, second year... As far as I'm concerned, we should be ahead of UEFA, no disrespect to UEFA. Um, but I think we've delayed it for so long, this is why we're struggling to not only use it correctly, but for us fans to get used to it. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 3-1 Leicester win. I'm not expecting them to do another 9. Um, my last one for this weekend is Everton versus Tottenham. Everton losing 3 2 away to Brighton. Tottenham losing 2 1 away from home to Liverpool. As I said, VAR played its part in that Everton Brighton game. 
Um, but you, you know, you've got to move on. Um, but I think this game's going to be interesting because both teams are really struggling at this present time. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-0 Tottenham win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.